Welcome to Fashion Me Late on MindMine. This is where I size up games from two or more years ago. I'll share my thoughts on core aspects of different titles with the goal to either introduce you to your next favorite game, help you avoid a bombshell, or reignite some nostalgia. Today on the catwalk is Tacoma by Fulbright. This is one of the games that inspired me to do this series. And if this series inspires you, I encourage you to subscribe, like, and share to help appease the Google bot overlords and to help others discover this content as well. Now, as a quick side note, in some of the gameplay footage, you'll see a glowing coin-like icon with an F on it. This is not in the normal gameplay of Tacoma, but appears when you activate the commentary mode. But we'll get more into that later on. All right, Minnie. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retro thrusters now. So what is Tacoma? It's a first-person narrative adventure game set in 2088. Hypercorporations have a strong influence on society, especially from that of the Venturis Corporation. Venturis operates several stations orbiting Earth, including the mysteriously abandoned Tacoma Station. You've been contracted to enter Tacoma to retrieve data and the physical processing module of the station's AI, Odin. As you explore the sectors of the station, you'll discover the many different quirks and nuances each Tacoma crew member possessed in the moments they shared with each other. This is done through reviewing physical objects such as notes, memorabilia, and books. You'll also use an advanced augmented reality system to piece together recordings of interactions and review digital correspondences. While you travel through the eerily empty hallways and rooms, you'll discover that something more serious has happened on this station. What actually happened to the crew? What were or are everyone's intentions? The subtle emotional attachment built by well-crafted verbal and non-verbal narrative elements is what makes these questions burning questions and what makes this one hell of a game. The visuals and overall design are great and the attention to detail is amazing. The environmental design showcases a nice balance between rigid futuristic tech, shallow and greedy corporate facades, and the lively playfulness the crew provided. It's this balance that leaves a bit of melancholia in the air as you travel from room to room. What once was filled with life is now a tomb-like time capsule. Everything has been left behind as if someone will appear around the next corner, but never does. The interaction with environmental elements is smooth, easy to learn, and well animated. For PC, you're using WASP to move through the space while utilizing the mouse to control line of sight and POI activation. When you're in the AR system, it becomes a mixture of point and click for reviewing digital messages, and then using QE and spacebar to control the recorded crew moments. One of my favorite elements to this system is the video player ability to fast forward, rewind, play, and pause the action. Within one area, multiple conversations occur, and people will move from one room to another. This system helps make the world more immersive and gives the sense of depth as multiple story layers occur at the same time. As Shakespeare wrote in As You Like It, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. This is on full display in Tacoma, and it's no wonder as Fulbright stated that one of their influences was the immersive theater production Sleep No More, based on Shakespeare's Macbeth. And as someone that has attended a production of Sleep No More, Fulbright freaking nailed it. And speaking on immersion, a point that can often get overlooked is sound design. The sound design in Tacoma helps make it so immersive and adds a great layer to the player's overall experience. You could tell that a lot of hard work was placed in what, when, and how we hear different elements. Also, the voiceover production and performances were fantastic. As for the story, 
Tacoma is a strong narrative driven piece. So I don't want to go into too much detail so that way I can avoid spoilers. But what I can say is that it's engaging, human, and keeps you thinking. It has some twists and turns that hit nice development points that make it difficult to not emotionally respond as the player. It provides a little bit of everything from drama and mystery to well-placed comedic moments. The length of the game can be anywhere between two to four hours depending on how much you explore. There's plenty of story elements to interact with in the world and makes the game worth more than one playthrough. Through multiple playthroughs, I continue to discover interesting and important details that help create new or evolved experiences each time. Also, with a game like this, it's important to look at quality over quantity. And even then, I feel like I've received so much from it because of the quality. When you play through the game again, you can activate a commentary mode. Now this makes it so icons appear in different locations of each section of the station. You can click on them to listen to the development team talk about different aspects of the game and see images of concept art. For anyone interested in game and story development, it's a very cool addition to a game like this. You can check out Tacoma for yourself with the links provided in the description section of this video. Also, have you played Tacoma? Or are you new to the game and you have some thoughts based on what you've seen? Share those thoughts in the comments below. And for more great content, click subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos being released only at MindMine.